Hey, what's up, guys? Just got this truck in. They want the grill painted. Just the outline of the grill white and the letters of the Ford painted white. I'll show you the steps I'm going to do to get it done. All right, guys, got the grill off. I'm going to use this to sand everything that I want to get painted. So this and all the letters. And after that, I'm going to degrease it. Then I'm going to mask it up. All right, guys, I got it all sanded. Make sure you sand everything that you want the paint to be make sure you get it all scuffed up so the paint can stick so make sure you get in all the little small areas so i'm gonna mask it off right now All right, guys, I got it all messed up. Make sure you just get cover everything you don't want to get paint on. So that's going to be it. Now I just got to degrease it. All right, I got some degreaser in a bottle. If you guys don't have a degreaser, you can use rubbing alcohol to get any, um, well, to get all the grease off. And if you got primer on it, don't put the rubbing alcohol on there because it'll kind of soften up the primer. You guys could maybe do light coats over it. All right, guys, after that, get your tack rag, tack it all off. It's going to get any lint and any dirt off of it all right guys after you guys tack it off get this adhesion promoter and you guys want to spray the whole thing down okay and it says you want to wait 10 minutes before you start spraying and you got to spray it in between 30 minutes so spray that on all right and on this this stuff is for plastic and like plastic grills, plastic bumpers. So the paint will stick because if you don't use this, then the paint will most likely flake off in time. So you want to use the adhesion promoter. All right, I got my paint mixed. I put it in the gun already. I'm going to start spraying. It's been 10 minutes, so it's good to apply the paint. All right, guys, I got one coat. I still got to get some of these tight areas. That's the first coat. I'm going to do one more coat, and that should be it. Then put the clear. And if you guys just prepping it, you could do all the same. I'm just using spray guns, so you guys could, if you guys are going to use a can, a spray can, that'll be fine. Just do those steps I did to, um, to prep it for paint, and you'll be good. All right, guys, I got it all covered. I went over it about like three or four times because I needed to get in all these little creases and want to make sure everything was covered. So right now it looks good. I'm just gonna let it sit for about five to ten minutes and then I'm gonna throw a clear coat but before I put the clear coat I am gonna tack it off one more time all right guys I'm gonna tack it off and just use this to like blow anything off while I'm packing all right guys I'm gonna clear coat it I'm gonna throw a light coat and then try to get in a lot of the grooves and all the creases here. 
All right, guys, I got it done. I just started peeling some of the tape off. Still a little tacky, so I'm letting it dry a little more. I threw two coats of clear. And I did have some problems. I had a got some fish eye on it, but I let it dry and I sanded it. And then I re-cleared it. Alright guys, I got the little lights back in and all I gotta do is install it back on the truck. Alright guys, this is it. It's all done. Put back on the truck. Came out good. So that's how you um, prep and paint a grill. And hopefully this gave you guys some ideas and if you guys are gonna give it a try. But that's going to be it for the video. And if you guys can like, comment, subscribe. I'll be posting up more videos throughout the week. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Alright, later.